Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Viking Conquest. Now, when we left off, we had fought a couple of Vikings, we had taken some of them prisoner, we had gained a rather significant amount of units, thanks to rescuing prisoners, and indeed recruiting a couple of units from the nearby Mead Hall. Now, what we are doing right here is, of course, besieging Cathars. Now, luckily enough, we were able to... Finish building the ladders pretty fast, I gotta say. So, the hour has arrived. Let us lead our soldiers in an assault and hopefully be able to take this. And I'm actually really surprised that no one decided to interrupt us. So, we have 116, which is exactly how much we have total on the battlefield. And our enemies have 40. Now, I'm actually... What is going on here? Why is there a cave? I assume that's just decorative. Yes. Well... Whatever the case, we are going to be heading up here and hopefully not taking too many casualties because I have a feeling that that fellow with 232 units will be turning up very, very soon and he'll probably deal some pretty considerable damage against us, which would not be too good, would it? It would not be too good at all. So, let's see here. What can we do? Can we do something? Can we attack some of these units? I would like it. Oh my goodness, really? Okay. Apparently... This guy right here is very wily when it comes to his attack patterns. Yes, heavy spearmen. Aha, that is why. Okay, yeah, he was actually running rings around us, I suppose you could say. He was actually doing such an incredible job that I had no idea whether we'd even be able to hurt him. But there we have it. Whoa, our shield's already been killed? What? Why has our shield already been destroyed? That is impossible. I cannot believe that. And we got taken out by a mounted noble. Well, whatever the case, we did actually do a pretty... I did not retreat. I did not retreat. That was not me. That was the game automatically retreating for no apparent reason whatsoever. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to tell our units just to charge in and let's go. I cannot believe that. Seriously. What's funny is that sometimes doesn't the diplomacy mod actually kick in? And sometimes you're not kicked out, but maybe in sieges that's what happens. And maybe in field battles that is a difference. Hmm, perhaps so. Well, whatever the case, there are only 12 enemies remaining. So we will very easily be able to take these guys out. And hopefully Cathars will then be ours, but... As you can see, we actually have a rather diminished amount of units right now. And I'm actually wondering, why do we have so many bowmen? That's not too good, is it? Not too good to have so many bowmen. Well, yeah. I think we're okay. I think we are fine. As long as I don't get killed by one of those mounted nobles again, I think we'll be okay. But, yes, yeah, so let's take out that guy. There we go. That was the fellow that took us out last time. And I believe... There we go. Take out that fellow as well. And we'll leave the last remaining fellow just to get knocked unconscious. Excellent. Okay, so we have Cathars under our control. And... Oh. I did not realize that they had so many rescued. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Okay, we are going to see some incredible fights, I do believe, because if we're able to take every single one of these units, which I do think I am able to, I hope I will be able to at least, but I think we're going to be seeing quite a few interesting battles. With all of these units on our side, I do believe we actually have a full party. Yeah, one away. One away. That is insane. Okay, so yeah, we could take a couple of pieces of loot. Not really anything to write home about there, but... I think it's better than nothing. So, conquer the fort. Yes. And I'm going to request that Cathars be awarded to us. We gain 13 renown. Very nice indeed. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Not too bad. Okay, so let us wait here for some time. And we will expect to see one of our opponents besieging it immediately. Yes, we have Luke Threni right here, as well as one of his other compatriots attempting to besiege it. I am very hopeful that our morale will not decrease any further than it already has. Hopefully we'll gain a little bit of morale overnight for letting our units rest. Yes, there we go. One morale. Not really something I'm very pleased about. I would like to get a little bit more than that. And what is going on here? Wait a second. Oh, we have finished reading History of the Peloponnesian War, which is excellent. Our tactic skill has increased. 
Oh, you heard rumours of discontent among your men. You should do something to raise their flagging spirits. Well, I'd like to, but... Ah, Halfton appeared, I see. Oh, yes, but as I was saying, I... Hmm, we are quite far away from Edinburgh. I would love to be able to do that. And I'd also love to take this, but... Yeah, that's maybe going to be a bit too difficult at the moment. Well, whatever the case, let's level up. And we'll see... Ah, oh, that's it. Okay. I was hoping we'd have a little bit more to level up right there. But, yeah, it appears we might actually have to. We might actually have to leave Cathurs at the moment. Halfton is looking after it right now. What? Cathurs has been... What? Just... Huh. Did you see that? What actually happened right there? It doesn't say anything about Cathurs. Significant group of enemies spotted. And then we obviously had the rumors of discontent. And then... Nothing. Oh. The Kingdom of Auburn has taken Cathurs. How did they do that? I have no idea. I left for literally 10 seconds and Halfton was right there. How could he... I, I, I do not know. I seriously do not know. That is appalling. That is terrible AI right there. I cannot believe that Halfton decided that it would be a good idea just to leave. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we're going to be heading into the meat hall, seeing what we can do about increasing our men's spirits. And let's take a look here. I'd like to buy me and my men a barrel of your best day all. Yes. What? 3,000? Okay. Gains 10 morale. That's r uh, I was hoping that it would be a lot more than that for 3,000 pennies. Oh. Well, I suppose that will help us to not lose anyone from right now. Below average. Oh dear. This is not going well. Hmm. I'm actually really surprised. I have no idea why Cathars was taken... Halfton is a really terrible human being, by the looks of things. Ah, oh, my goodness. Okay, even though we like him and everything, he is pretty bad, I gotta say. For not defending Cathars when I'd just taken it. Seriously, come on, Halfton. You're much better than that. Okay, well... What can we do? What, what is he actually doing? He's running away? Why is he running away? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, he's running away from these guys, I know, but he has 270. He just left us to our own devices. Well, whatever the case, I'm going to be cutting away right now, and we're going to see if I can take Cathars back, or I will head over to Dunbreton, but now we have attracted the attention of this fellow right here, who is, of course, yeah, making himself quite the pain. But yes, I'm not a big fan of Hafton right now. Not a big fan of him whatsoever. It appears as though he's being really indecisive and actually quite, well detrimental to our progress right here so yeah okay I'll do my best okay so after having taken Cathars back from the Kingdom of Auburn once again we get this message the low morale of your army has led some men to conspire against you one of your warriors committed the imprudence of talking too much while you could hear him Feeling exposed, the warrior has insulted you publicly and has challenged you to a duel for leadership. A duel to the death. Accept the challenge. We cannot even decline it, so it appears as though we will be doing battle with one of these spearmen. So, I'm actually really surprised about this because this guy has a spear and he's never going to be able to take us out, I don't believe, as you can probably see, quite easily to take out. Mainly because he doesn't have any other weapon. If he had another weapon, I would be much more afraid of him, but there it is. Didn't really want to take him out, that's for sure. Veteran Spearman is very good. The duel is over. Your enemy lies on the ground, defeated by your skill with weapons. Oh yes, you hope that this serves as a warning to other potential rivals. Now your mission is to restore confidence and improve your army's morale. Well... There is a 5 morale boost, which I suppose is okay, but as you can see, we actually do have an opponent. Luke Threni, he only has 15 units in his army right here. But we will be taking him on nevertheless, because we do need the morale boost. I am actually unsure how much morale we are going to get from this. Probably not much at all. I was hoping that one of the higher 
strength vassals would decide to turn up, and we might be able to do something then, but yes, at the moment, it doesn't look good for our morale difficulties. And we just took that guy out with so much as a problem. I am actually really worried about that, because he had a spear, and he was just about to swing it at us, like that, for example. I was worried that that exactly would happen. So, yeah, need to be a bit cautious of that, I do believe, in the future. And that. Well, that's not too good, is it? Nope, that is not too good at all. I am really surprised about that, and the camera was going weird for a second there. Not entirely sure what's going on with that. Seriously, we go against the only guy with nine units, and I still get taken out. That is just like me, is it not? It is. But never mind, we're fine, because our army will, of course, deal the killing blow to many of his units, and we will be completely fine to continue onward after that. There we go. Very nice indeed. Oh my. Wow. Okay. And one morale, that was really not worth it. Okay, we're going to be taking this guy prisoner, because why not? And we'll take some of the captured enemies as well. We do have such a huge amount of space. Look at our morale, it's terrible right now. Oh my. Uh, okay, we're gonna need to try and find... Oh, yeah, no. Okay, what about that guy? Shall we try and attack that guy? 158. He's actually following us right now, so maybe he'll attack us. Maybe. He might. Come on. Get over here. Okay, are we gonna do it? Are we going to do it? Yes, I do believe we are. Oh my. This is probably not going to be a good idea. It's never nice to get attacked, but since Maya Catalan Mac Indrak Taig has a good reputation, your troops feel a bit more confident. Oh no. Okay, so let's take a look here. Okay, well, we'll start battle holding position, I do believe, here. Oh, that's never a good sign, starting on a mountainous hillside. Okay, let's see here. Hmm, this is not good. Okay, so he has 135, we have 117, which is exactly the amount of units that we have in our army right now, so we are in a very bad spot indeed. And to think we were in a very strong position in the last episode, but I suppose fighting against vassals is very different from fighting against actual Vikings, but yes, we'll see. We will see what is going on here. I really wish my horse was a little bit more defensive as well. Look at the amount of damage it just took from one hit. That was terrible. Ah, uh, okay. Well, there are veteran skirmishers here, which is not good. Not good at all. I was hoping I could take out at least one of those guys. I do believe we're actually just going to have to charge straight on in here. I don't believe we need to dilly-dally. We really need to head in as fast as we can, otherwise things are going to happen, because they have a lot of veteran spearmen. And a lot of veteran skirmishers as well. Yeah. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe it was a bad idea. Uh, oh, okay. Well, let's do our best. We can do our best. Come on, let's do this. Yes. Take him down, guys. Come on. Yeah, we do seem to be dealing quite a significant amount of damage. I'm very hopeful that that means we're going to win. Hopefully. Come on, let's do this. Oh, we've advanced to level 17. Excellent. Okay, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to see the end of this battle, hopefully being still alive. That would be nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. Yes. Hopefully I can take that guy out. Oh no, there's a lot of skirmishers ahead of us right there. I am unsure as to the condition of my shield at the moment. I don't believe I've blocked anything so far, so it should still be at 100%. But you never know. And I've knocked one of these guys off his horse, which is excellent, so now hopefully we can take him out. Yeah, take him out. Oh, that was the actual vassal himself. Oh my goodness, I am very happy about that. And then we got taken out by a noble unit. Well, I suppose if I'm getting get taken out by anyone, it should probably be by that fellow. Well, I think we're actually winning. I think we're actually going to win this. So, I am very pleased about that, because if we had not, then our morale would have just taken an even worse plummet, and we would have been in greater difficulties. I'm actually really wondering why our units are not charging in. I did tell them to charge in, did I not? Hmm. 
Maybe it's because we're fighting against skirmishers. The AI is thinking that it probably wants to be a little bit cautious about that because these skirmishers can actually do a lot of damage if you allow them to. Hmm. Well, the one thing that I do love is the after-death camera is actually very smooth because in some mods, or shall we say in some user-created content, the after-death camera is a little bit jerky and I'm not incredibly happy about that because it does somewhat take away from the cinematic experience than you would otherwise get with the after-death scene right here. Oh my goodness. Did you really get taken out by a freeholder? I cannot believe you, Frank Horseman. Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully... Yes, they're going to be fighting now. Thank goodness. Okay, come on, guys. Just head straight on in there. Head straight on... What are they... Oh my. I am getting pretty irritated by our units. Oh, there we go. Now they're charging in. Excellent. That's exactly what I want to see right there. Okay. I'm actually really worried why they are getting taken out by regular skirmishers. I know that many of our units aren't exactly the highest caliber, but look at this guy right here. He's running away. I cannot believe it. We have some veteran units that are running away in the opposite direction. I don't know why that is. Well, other than that, I do believe we are going to be victorious, and I think I will cut away while our units have the most ineffective charging mechanics of all time. Okay, so there it is. They actually just chased the fellow off the battlefield. They're oh my. Are you serious? Three morale? Why only three? I thought we actually had a really good fight right there. We fought someone with more units than we had. We were outnumbered rather considerably. We did lose 31 units to death, which is, well, never a good thing. But necessary, is it not? Is it not necessary? Well, whatever the case, we do get a couple of rescued prisoners. Our morale is still very low, but what we will be doing is we will be heading on to Edinburgh and we will see what we can do about selling our prisoners, which we have a huge amount of, by the way. So let's see how many we can take. I do believe we can actually take 101. Yeah, there's actually that many. So I am really wanting to take as many as I can get. So let's lose some of those guys, get some more champions. And I think we can get some veterans as well. And there we go. So now hope for some trophies that would be wonderful cross your fingers for trophies i would like that are there any yes two okay not as good as i would like but still surely considering he had 158 units he should have had more battle trophies but so be it so we gained five morale for the loot we shared very low morale still hmm okay what can we actually do here there is not much to do, is there? Because that guy has 163 units. He's probably going to besiege this immediately. Is he? No. Why are they not besieging that? That's very strange. Okay, well, I do believe what we're going to need to do is head on to Edinburgh and sell our prisoners before the next week's wages. And hope that Cathars does not get taken while we are away once again. Now, Halfton is besieging the town nearby, which I suppose is a good thing. But... Hmm, he really dropped the ball earlier, I do believe. Old Captain? Hmm, I don't have enough money to recruit one of those, unfortunately. Hopefully after visiting the slave trader we will, however, so that would be rather nice. Now, we will be leveling up after we have spoken to the slave trader. I think that is probably going to be a good idea. And we'll see what kind of skills we can acquire. And I believe... This guy is probably going to give us some really nice cash right here. So 152 per one of those, 168 per one of those. Wow. Okay, this is actually going to turn out really nicely, I think. So hopefully we will be able to pay our units next week. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh yeah. 8,600, and we still have a vassal with us as well, and a couple of our companions have also leveled up along the way. So there's a medium-sized group of enemies spotted near Cathars, so I'm going to be heading back there as quickly as I can. It is actually under siege, so... Oh, it's now no longer under siege. Very weird. Okay, well, we're fine. That is completely fine. So, yeah, let's just level up a couple of our units right here with our newly acquired funds, 
And then we'll be leveling up a Gathanos, who just so happened to level up in the previous bout. And what are we going to be specking him into? I think Athletics. I think Athletics is probably going to be it, and Iron Flesh. So let's do that. There we go. And now Borgar needs to level up as well. So what is he going to be specking into? Well, it's been a while since he's leveled up. So I'm actually unsure, but I suppose the best thing to spec into would probably be Looting and Trainer, if I do say so myself. Looting and Trainer? Hmm. I think Trainer would probably be really useful, because if we recruit more units, we are level 17, that would level up our units really fast. And Looting? Is that actually helping us out right now? I'm not entirely sure. But we'll go for one point in Trainer, because that is all we can do right now. And, hmm, riding skill? No. Huh. Quite the pickle. Okay, we'll go for looting, I do believe. That will be fine. And we'll go for a little bit in throwing weapon proficiency. So, without further ado, I will be ending this episode of here. Next time on Viking Conquest, we will have restored our previous morale. I will put all of our units in Asgard's garrison here, and I will watch out for any potential retaliations against Cathars, and we'll see whether anyone attempts to retake it. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.